Hello, all my air sign friends, and welcome to your Saturday, July 21st, 2018 love reading. This is for Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This won't uh, fit with everybody, so I'm going to do a couple different spreads. So if this first one doesn't sound like your situation, go ahead and stick around for the second one. If that doesn't fit either, check your Moon, Rising, and Venus. So here we go. Spirit Angels, what do our air signs need to know about Saturday the 21st in love? Okay, the first card is out. Pick your side. You have the Knight of Pentacles first. So um, you have been waiting and waiting and waiting for an earth sign to come towards you or somebody with those kind of qualities. Um, they are moving, however, um, they are no longer feeling stagnant in this situation. So if you've been waiting on an earth sign, here they come. Um, the other side has the four of wands in reverse. They are dealing with a relationship um, that did not work out. Yeah, they are trying to pick up the pieces after a uh, foundation that they thought was sturdily built, um, crumbled, crumbled down. Okay. This had two cards fall out. You have the Empress and the Ace of Swords in, in, uh, reverse. So, um, you're no longer confused. You were kind of in a, uh, fog about where the hell this person was at. They were supposed to come towards you. Um, you know, you guys were supposed to be in a relationship, whatever, you, you were just confused about why this person wasn't here yet. Um, but you are ready to, to create something with this person. Uh, yeah. Yeah, because you are crystal clear on what you want for the future air signs. Or the person that you're dealing with. This person had to come out also. Perfect. The person that um, is on this side... They're trying to juggle life right now after this failed relationship, this broken home. Um, they're just emotionally drained at the moment. They put their whole heart into this relationship uh, and and they didn't expect it to, to end the way it did. So they're trying to juggle their own emotions on where to put their heart next, whether to invest their time and energy in to themselves or to somebody else at this moment. Yeah, this person has the nine of pentacles. So this person is very established already. They know who they are. They know who they want. They know what they want. Um, they're, they are just looking amazing. Uh, could be Taurus that you're dealing with on this side, or you could be a Taurus. Uh, but just mostly they're very confident. They have put in the work. They know what they want and they're going to go after it. And that's something that this person is attracted to. This person, the Ace of Pentacles, beautiful. They are receiving a download from the universe. They are going to um, open themselves up to this connection very quickly because the gift from the universe is here. And that gift is each other. Um, you see the moon in the back of, behind that pinnacle. This is um, written in the stars. This is something. Also, if you see a fox, that is an omen for you. Or the person you're dealing with. Oh, that just came way out of the blue. But a new beginning is here. A fresh start with this earth sign is here. That's way too many. But I'm going to acknowledge the cards that flipped. Two of swords in reverse. Making the choice to come together. The star. Making the choice to follow your dreams. And allow this relationship to come together. You put in the work. And you know that this is uh, spiritually guided. But that was way too many cards. So. All right, this person, yeah, death. They've already gone through the transformation. They've already been um, through through the tough karma they had to deal with. They have, um, yeah, they have been reborn to life, to what they want. They realize that life's too short to settle for anything less than what it is that they want. And this person is on the same page by the end of the day. They are having their wishes fulfilled. Their prayers are being answered. They are finding 
a new beginning with somebody who emotionally levels them out. And the bottom of the deck for you is the Ace of Wands. Beautiful energy. Um, new beginnings, passionate, abundant. Um, this person has been patiently waiting. This person is finally ready. And uh, you will be hearing from this person today or Saturday, the 21st of July. Beautiful energy shared between the two of you. This is going to be a relationship that lasts forever. All right, the second situation. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, in that order. The magician manifesting using the moon and the new moon energy and solar eclipse to your advantage. Beautiful healing energy, by the way, with Cancer New Moon. All right. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. All right, Geminis. You have the Six of Pentacles, Libra. The Seven of Cups, Aquarius. The Page of Pentacles. Your situation you're dealing with Saturday. So Six of Cups in reverse. Clarified by the Emperor. Your bottom of the deck is the Chariot. Moving forward. Moving on. Allowing your life to proceed to the next step. You're no longer holding back. Gemini males. You guys, um, you're feeling a little out of balance. Um, giving more to the relationship than receiving with the page of cups in reverse. You've been working hard to get a connection with somebody. Um, could be somebody of your past, but um, you're a little out of balance right now with the emperor in reverse. Um, yeah. Uh, either it's calling for a little bit more healing Gemini before you can move forward and offer this cup to somebody or somebody to come towards you. Gemini females, you have the magician in reverse. So you're trying to manifest a relationship that's fair and balanced. And um, yeah, and, and you need to, uh, yeah, there's something that you're, that you have to release from your past before um, you'll be able to manifest something for the future. So, uh, so make sure you're using this new moon to release anything or anything you're tied to. Um, before you can manifest something that's balanced for you, the King of Swords, um, you guys are, yeah, you're, you're not leading with your heart. You need to, um, yeah, you need to follow your heart is what I'm hearing for you, Gemini Libra. You guys have a lot of options. You're confused on which way to go, where to move from here. You're reeling over the heartache of a person that you have recently broken up with. This could be someone you have children with, but uh, they really flipped your world upside down and now you're just confused. You don't know if you can trust again. You have the Queen of Wands, Libra. You have a fire sign coming in towards you that's going to bring all that confusion away. Um, could be a Sagittarius, but a fire sign in nature, most definitely. They're going to take the confusion out of the choice. Uh, they're going to come in and seduce, not seduce you in a bad way, but they're going to come in and light your world on fire. You are going to most definitely have a very happy relationship with this person. Libra females, you have the king of pentacles. So uh, somebody's coming in towards you uh, that's not stable, not grounded. Their finances are a mess. So be cautious about um, allowing somebody in uh, to your financial business and judgment. You guys, uh, judgment's about karma. So you guys have dealt with your karma. It's in the upright. So you do have a relationship that's coming towards you that's very beautiful. Um, not one of this lifetime. However, this is a, uh, somebody that you've been with in the past, but by past, I mean, past lifetime, this person is coming back for you to, um, yeah, to, um, complete you or complete your life again is what I'm hearing. Yeah. For you males, it's a fire sign for you females. It is a earth sign. All right, Aquarius, you guys are um, you guys are getting your prayers answered. Most definitely, uh, you Aquarius males, you are waiting to hear from an earth sign. Uh, this could be about financial um, help. You guys are want, needing financial help. You're getting good news on that. 
Aquarius females, you have the Nine of Swords. So you're really um, losing sleep. You're really anxious about hearing about this financial um, issue. Could be um, like child support, alimony, um, something along those lines. Yeah, because Ten of Wands. You guys, this is really burdening you. This is really stressing you out, really uh, keeping you up at night. But trust the universe. Trust that you will always be taken care of. So lay this burden down. Um, Saturday, Aquarius males, you are getting notice. You are getting word that this is going to come through for you. Um, could be have something to do with your child too, but um, this could be a new start to a new beginning. Uh, like buying a home with a with a loved one, a partner um, is what I'm hearing for you males. You could be getting word on that. Um, females, yeah, just calm down, relax. Try not to be so anxious. Um, news is coming for you as well. Uh, so, so let this, um, don't let this stress you out. Lay this burden down. Don't carry it all on your shoulders because it is going to work out in the long run. And your advice from the angels. Well, maybe. There we go. Oh, my goodness. Worth waiting for. So divine timing is at work in your love life. Um, yeah, most definitely. Uh, there's somebody coming in for you. Uh, Libra, your people are here. Um, they're, you just haven't formed a relationship with them yet. They're, you've met this person, Libras. Um, Gemini, you as well. Just follow your heart. They're worth the wait. Um, find balance and healing in your life, and this person will come in come in for you. Libras, you just have to try to work through the confusion. They are here for you. Um, once you uh, once you get things sorted out, they're going to um, be here as well. And my Aquarius friends, um, it's worth waiting for. You just have to hear from. The, you have to wait for that news. It's coming. Um, your guys's wishes, prayers, dreams, they're coming, um, into fruition very quickly. So just, uh, trust your journey and trust your path and you will find success. So I hope you guys have a, an amazing Saturday. And as always, I appreciate you coming to my channel. Um, I would not be here on my spiritual journey without you. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you for um, coming and watching my videos. I send you love, light, and God bless.